hunting pesquilly bugs. <laughs> Gonna find some bugs and put them on that video. What kind of bugs are in your garden? <laughs> Ecosystem of the earth. Well, something I've noticed as I was sitting there trying to film insects is um, I can't find any more aphids. Now, early on, I seen aphids everywhere. I could walk by here and go, oh my gosh, the aphids are everywhere. But I, can't, I don't find any more aphids. And um, I know that the ants, they work a symbiotic relationship with aphids sometimes it depends on which type of aphid I, I don't even know how many kinds of aphids there are really but I do know that they will protect the aphids in exchange for the sugars or whatever they make off of the plants I know that I've got predators and I know that you leave the aphids like I haven't I don't think I've filmed any ladybugs yet this year I think I've got an older picture of aphids so I'll just throw that in the mix but um oh what else there's lots of predators lots of things that will eat aphids and I've I found some interesting bugs uh I know a few days ago there was I I came across a prey mantis and I've came across a handful of them I just they seem to not be available when I have the camera <laughs> not be available when I have the camera <laughs> but we'll see what I come up with as I'm filming this and making it so there you go look at that look at that toothache plant oh, oh, dun, 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 dun. toothache numb your mouth peekaboo anyway there you go cool all right let's see some bugs <laughs> As we look out across the garden, most of us get quite familiar with cabbage moth. But what else is out there? Lurking <laughs> in the jungle of the garden. <laughs> jungles of Amaranth, we wonder what we might find besides the furry little creature. We look upon the ground, we might see an ant and a cat again. But as we look, as we look closer, we see what kind of creatures we might find. With the naked eye, I see things flying about. With the camera, heck, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what we'll find. <laughs> Come on, get rid of the bug. What's that up there on the leaf? I think there's a creature on top of it. It's probably a Japanese beetle. We don't like Japanese beetles. But let us see. These little fly bugs and stuff. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, help me! Okay. <laughs> what is it we find? Wouldn't you know, Mr. Japanese Beetle! Japanese beetle. Devastation of the Japanese beetle.
They pretty much will devour and totally destroy the leaves. And that ain't cool. That, they tend to attack the uh, grape leaves. Of course, that, I think that's a, maybe a morning glory leaf or something. That, interesting, interesting. But they do, the boy, they just chew the fire out of them leaves. And I should be collecting them every single day and giving them to the chickens. But sometimes you get tired of fighting them. You really do. But that's because they don't have a, a natural predator or enemy in the United States. They don't belong here. Um, I don't know whether the prey mantises will eat them or not. I, I, I don't know, I guess. Prey mantises, I assume, will eat anything that gets in their way. But Prey mantises are predatorial, so who knows how many there really are. There can only be so many. They'll eat each other, right? So, there you go. There's that. Japanese beetles. <laughs> the Japanese beetle. I'm looking at it right. Has uh, a foot and a bent leg, but Don't think I do that all the time because I don't. <laughs> but I've done it plenty of time. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's just kind of weird, right? Eating bugs. And them dang shells. And it's like it's like eating popcorn, the little all the little shells get caught in your, your teeth. Now that's what we do with Japanese beetles. <laughs> Feed them to the chickens. And this evening in this corner.
Flies, there's always flies. There's an ant seeking out food in the bird poo. <laughs> One of the garden's most famous spiders, Daddy Longlegs. Come on. Woohoo! How I many you know they're welcome in the garden? <laughs> Gotta love it. Funny thing about these guys, little click beetles, if they're laying on their back, they can snap that thing and then it makes them flip up in the air and freaks a predator out. They do eat uh, plants, though. Now this is a leaf roller. Uh, I get in a lot of fruit trees and stuff like that, probably because this is right near my pear tree, so that's probably why. But um, it'll turn into a uh, tortricid, tortricidae, like brown moth. suffer pretty bad this color even could kill it the spittle bug hops around kind of like a frog like kind of thing or whatever uh, I don't know it's an imp it, it builds like this foamy layer of protection over itself while it grows and stuff and mucus weird you know just weird crazy stuff and uh I guess it's effective. I don't know. I guess you should kill it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, it doesn't have any predators at it. I don't know either. Uh, I guess it does, but its defense is kind of that weird, bubbly, foaming thing. Or, uh, 
Technically, yeah. No, <laughs> but technically, it. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna eat the greens. So it's gonna jump and fly off here. Here you go. Here it goes. Woo! Beep. Come on, do it. Do it. Go. Oh, there it went. Well, now I don't know about you, but that looks like a little ladybug without its dot. Just a baby hoverfly. Interesting though. There it is, there was some aphids still left. That symbiotic relationship between the ant and the aphid. It's the black ants. They sit there and they protect them and then get their the sugars that they get out of the plants.
this is a black border beetle. Yeah. I think what they do is they eat like a fungus. 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 Blah, 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 fungi. Whatever. <laughs> so, I guess they're okay to have around. Yeah, I'm sure I could say for sure, but uh, that's obviously a caterpillar, but is that worm or is that possibly a leech? Them red leeches or giant red leeches or thing? I uh, It's just kind of, doesn't exactly look like just a regular worm, does it? Hmm. Well, how about that? Who made these holes in this? Who did this? What is that? Little net bugs. Hmm. Aphids, aphids, aphids. Ah. It's a weird looking wasp thing, man.
my, cover your eyes again. Here goes the hover flies at it. Anyway, so, uh, hover flies are actually good for the garden. That's probably why a lot of my aphids are, uh, gone and not able to find them. Um, their larvae it looks like a sea cucumber looking kind of deal and it, and it just chomps down the aphids big time. So they're good to have. Even spite their pornographic nature. <laughs> cucumber beetle a little black and yellow striped thing it'll wreak havoc on the cucumber now that there um, without being too certain it's either a black wasp or even a black uh, uh, carpenter bee but I wouldn't really want to say but either one of those are good anyway
this guy right here it does have the knee joint and the foot so what do we do with these bugs eh. and what do they smell like stinky apple The truth is, you can eat that bug. Um, it's a little bit weird and <laughs> it tastes like some kind of, I've done it. Uh, but uh, it's still strange. I've eaten a lot of bugs. <laughs> All right, here he is. A squish bug or stink bug. Rigid and all that. To tell you the truth, I don't like, uh, I don't like eating these. They, uh, creep me out a little bit. Maybe because they're so dang annoying and I want to kill them because all they do is destroy my cucumbers and my squash. But, for the sake of you believing me, I'm going to go ahead and do it. They're, uh, they got this weird apple tart flavor. I don't know believe me, but. <laughs> hmm. Like a cinnamon, apple cinnamon. Oh, I don't remember it being like that. <laughs> ah, a little bit freaky, but it is what it is. You said I'd rather not do that again. <laughs> and I did, I spit out the shell. They got a really hard body and uh, it's just not that fun and you think about it it's like I was explaining to mom you think of it as a rather nasty little bug but because it stinks but um, the truth is let's, let's look at what they eat they eat your cucumbers and your squash right so maybe they're not as bad as you think they are maybe that one was more uh had the more cinnamon because it was older but uh i don't know how many i've eaten it's just a handful i just just for the sake of trying it usually just to see just like i do with plants and other things it's kind of like this uh test or trial to see if it is possible. A survival thing. <laughs> I know. Weird, weird, weird. I think it's funny too. You could also look at it. Uh, maybe I'll find the, the scriptures on it. Leviticus. I've explained this to some Hebrew roots before. That worry about what you can or can't eat, right? But when you look at what, uh, whether John the Baptist was eating the bug locust or whether he was eating the, uh, the, the, lo the black locust pods from the tree that tastes like honey. He could have been doing both for all I know. And, uh, but the truth is, is locusts are okay. There are, in Leviticus, there are certain bugs that are edible.
<laughs> which includes locusts and crickets and things. The legs with the feet that have a basically a knee joint in the thing. I don't. I think maybe there's. I'll just look up the verse and put it in there. But <laughs> weird. That's why I was pointing that out on the uh, stinky bug there. It has that. It has the little foot with the the knee. I guess there's a foot and a knee. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't really matter. There's was it ninety? I remember because I've studied a lot of entomology. Is that how you say it? There's ninety ninety something another percent. Maybe I'll find that and put it on here of insects that are edible and I get it a lot of people are upset because Bill Gates trying to make everybody eat bugs and that is irritating it's not just bugs the point of what they're doing the elite scumbags is they're trying to eliminate the meat um, not just meat though it's the way that they've been how many hundreds of years now they've been trying to eliminate gardens what do you think a lawnmower and a lawn came from why does that even exist that everybody needs a carpet mowed golf course lawn in their yard this this is natural this is nature this is how you eat. This is how you survive. This is how you enjoy a yard. Now it can be a little more man, uh, maintained than uh, I do, <laughs> of course. But um, the idea is you get this whole thing going, and you get all this. You get the mushrooms. You get the birds. Like I showed you, I saved that bird recently. Um, fruit, greens, insects. In other words, can you run around back here and find some way to live? <sighs> Year round is kind of hard. Now there are there are things alive and that I can eat on in the winter, but it's. It's limited. I guess that would be why you should take what you get and then turn around and try and preserve it for winter times. Now, uh oh. This is collapsed. I was about to show you. Um, wow. I guess I waited too long to do anything with that. Hmm. It'll probably grow again. I'm showing you that because I think it's a, I think I identified it as a reishi mushroom. My point of showing that, and I'm going to show more, there's, there's all kinds of little mushrooms. I find mushrooms every day. I do walking through here, they're in the path. They grow in the little jars, the plants. I mean, all kinds of places different shapes and sizes of them talking about bugs here we go uh, anyway so there you have it I'm gonna, whoo, gonna inhale a lightning bug up my nose there anyway I will uh, stop blabbing and going back to finding some insects all right, check you later. <laughs> or after I get whatever bug's going. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> so apparently, even bad bugs, such as stink bugs, have relatives that can be good guys. This is the uh, spined uh, soldier bug. And uh, it's a predaceous, whatever kind of predator. It eats caterpillars, beetles, and all kinds of stuff. Up to 90-something species it's going to eat. So... Could be your buddy in the garden. Uh, 
I just don't accidentally kill it that thing and it's going to be a stink bug, I guess. And there you have it. No, oh, oh, there they are. There they are. There's a little baby stink bugs right there. Squish them. Squish them. Squish them. Squish them. Uh, oh, they're going to kill the dog. They're going to kill my squish. Oh, no, 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 no. So I'm going to call this mysterious little guy here a, a weevil of some kind because it's got the long nose deal. <laughs> I don't really know for sure though. Neat little thing, the way it little screws around. <laughs> I, I kind of like it, but uh, weevil's not necessarily your friend. Oh well.
Yeah, I agree with some of these bugs in this video I may not have been able to identify, but there's so many bugs in the world, it's really cool. Wasn't sure about this one at first, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized it's just another one of those click beetles. I can see the shape of its head down there with the little spiky things going past its neck. <laughs> so that's what that is. His colors were a little bit different than the other one, but still the same bug. Yeah, there's a lot of tree frogs. Tree frogs keep growing more and more each year. This was a big fella up in the front yard. <laughs> I think it was trying to jump in our tea. <laughs> uh, they are cool though. That's me, by the way. <laughs> anyway. This is what I would call either a uh, camel cricket or a spider cricket. I think I like spider crickets because when I see them, they kind of creep me out. I don't know if they call camel crickets because their back's all hunched. I don't know. But <laughs> they're just a cricket, though. They, <laughs> for a cricket, they're awfully creepy. <laughs> just saying. The evening time, it's always kind of cool for a walk into the backyard. This little archway there with the lights. And I walk back through here. And you start to see the little flickers, the lightning bugs. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. Well, I just don't know that you get the same effect on them video camera but and they just come out and they come out into the, these little pockets and then the, the open and then the little bugs and the lightning bugs and they get more and more as the evening darkens and it's kind of cool <laughs> but there you go that's a lot of bugs but I think that uh that's all I've got to show for now. Except for this big fancy bug right here. <laughs> Alright, check you later.